John, talk about distilled water, please. Okay, back in 1970, while atten attending uh, Engine A School in Yorktown, Virginia, in the Coast Guard, is where the first time I learned about distill about distiller systems that are used on ships. All ships that are at sea for any period of time have to rely on drinking distilled water that they make from seawater. Um, I learned the system which uh, utilizes the Kuno evaporators, which is a two-stage system that actually runs the distilling process twice out of from the seawater. And this is what we drank, this is what was used for cooking, and this was used for laundry on our ship. Um, myself, since I've been, all oh, the past couple of years, have had have problems with um, joint problems, not only um, calcium deposits in the, in the form of spurs, but uh, some arthritis and things like that. I've switched over to drinking distilled water and I no longer uh, have the serious problems that I had before. Um, another thing that we've uh, found that uh, a lot of the medicines and stuff like that that, uh, that uh, herbalists use are based on the use of distilled water, which seems to be the thing. Uh, distilled water is pure water. It has nothing in it. There's no calcium deposits, there's no magnesium, manganese deposits, or whatever else is out there. Um, now, in nature, um, rainwater is as close as you can get to distilled water. Uh, of course, now with all the pollution and that, it has the airborne particulation that it accumulates from the sky as it falls, uh, along with. Uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, whatever other gases that are in the air. Um, water is known as the uh, universal solvent. It dissolves everything. There's, I think, four different things that water does not dissolve. It dissolves rocks, it dissolves uh, sand, it dissolves air, just about everything. Uh, these things are considered impurities. These are things that your body can um, take in, but they cannot use in an efficient way. Most of the time, these deposits will accumulate in your joints and cause problems with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, arthritis and things like that. There is, there has been some controversy lately. Some people have attacked me, saying that, uh, you know, it's next to poison, <laughs> you know, which is not true because it is as pure as you can get. Our body relies on use of pure things, water being one of them. Um, another thing, the herbalists uh, refer to water as being a hungry element that works as a chelator. Chelator is a fancy word that it will accumulate uh, different minerals and dissolve them even inside your body and take them out um, uh, through your urine and through your feces. Another thing that I just found out that uh, LSU University Medical Centers have been testing it on Alzheimer's patients and have found that when they have their patients drinking nothing but distilled water that their Alzheimer's uh, stops progressing. It actually stops it dead in its tracks. So far, they have not been able to see where it actually improves them, but it does stop the progression of the disease. And that's all I've got for today. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, can you talk a little bit about the um, conversation we were having a few minutes ago between the um, distilled water versus spring water issue. Well, yeah, uh, spring water, you know, with the things about fracking and stuff like that, that they're pushing all these chemicals into the water and that. Now, that spring water is considered is a uh, groundwater. Now, one of the things that um, 
that that water does it, it dissolves things like uh, vegetation, things like that. Uh, you get a buildup of, uh, of excess carbon dioxide, which changes into carbonic acid, which either further, dis further dissolves rocks and things like that, along with whatever other chemicals may be pushed into the ground as for disposal and stuff. Another thing is with the earthquakes that are being caused by the injection wells and stuff like that, shakes up all that water, shakes up all those poisons and stuff, so we don't know what's in that water anymore. It does have an excessive amount of uh, calcium and magnesium manganese in it. Um, so, okay. uh, I think the distilled water is much healthier. I notice that uh, when I go into the inn and watch wild animals and that, after a rain, they prefer to drink rainwater mm -hmm. than to drink stream water or, or lake water and stuff like that. So. And it's possible too with products that are labeled spring water that they're not actually spring water? That's correct. There's been some, some uh, evidence out there that a lot of times that they're labeled in these spring water and all they're doing is taking tap water and running it through a filter and then putting it into a jug and saying it's spring water. Okay. And um, what, what would the filtering process do to tap water? What exactly does that take out? It basically, it just takes out some of the gases and some of the impurities, you know. It's hard to say. It depends on what filtering system they use. There's another process that they can use to make uh, um, distilled water, and that's called the reverse osmosis system. And that's where they take the water and pressurize it and put it through a semi-permeable membrane, which takes all this the uh, dissolved solids out of it, the calcium and everything else, mm -hmm. but in order to get the gases out of it, they have to put it through a charcoal filter. But, okay. Uh, whether they I don't know if they're doing that or if they're just running it through a charcoal filter. I'm not sure. So your evaluation is that distilled water is still the way to go? It's the way to go. Okay. It's the healthiest way to go. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.